Hi friends, today I'm going to teach you how to crochet a super easy beginner friendly baby blanket. The stitch used in this pattern is one of my favorite baby blanket stitches because after completing the setup row, you only have to remember and repeat one row. I love the simplicity and modern look of this stitch and I hope you will too. Don't forget, I have the full pattern written out for free on the Lily Knits website, which I've linked to in the description below. Okay, let's get started. Before we begin, I'll quickly go over the supplies that you'll need to make your baby blanket. So you'll need two colors of worsted weight yarn. I chose to work with Amigo XL 100% acrylic worsted weight yarn from Hobby Yarn. You'll need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle or tapestry needle, to weave in any loose ends, and a pair of scissors to cut your yarn. Now that we've covered the supplies, we can begin working on our foundation chain. So the foundation chain for this baby blanket is 120 stitches. Uh, I'm just going to show you a smaller swatch, and the multiple for this stitch is four. So you just need to chain a multiple of four. So I'll chain 24 stitches for just for demonstration purposes and you can work along with me with 24 stitches to practice the stitch or you can chain the full 120 if you want to work on your own baby blanket. So I'll begin by making a slip knot and I'm assuming that you already know how to make a slip knot, how to chain, how to single crochet and how to double crochet. So if you do not know how to do these things then look them up and come back to the video. So I've made my slip knot and I've inserted my hook into the slip knot and now I'm going to chain 24 uh, chains. So there's my little foundation chain of 24 stitches. Okay, so we have our foundation chain and now we can begin crocheting our first row. For the first row, we double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So I like to crochet in the back, bu back bumps of my, of my uh, chains, not into the front, because I feel like it leaves a prettier edge. But you can crochet however you've learned how to crochet into your foundation chain. So I'm going to count down to my fourth chain and then work one double crochet into that chain. One, two, three, four. So it's this one. So I work one double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. And then skip the next three chains. So this is where the repeat begins. So we count one, two, three. We skip those three and then we work a single crochet, a chain three, and three double crochets into the next stitch. I'm working one single crochet, and then I chain three, and then I work three double crochets all in the same stitch or chain. And this is what it looks like. And then all we do is continue what we just did. So we, we skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and then single crochet, chain three, three double crochet. into the same chain. Pretty easy, hey? So you can already see how it's starting to look. So I'm just going to continue on uh, down to the end of the row and show you how to finish the row when I get there.
Okay, so now I'm at my last four stitches and I'm ready to work the last steps. So once you reach the last four chains, you want to skip three chains and then single crochet in the last chain. So I skipped three chains and now I'm crocheting, single crocheting into my last chain. And then chain three and turn your work. And that's it for row one. Row one was our setup row and now we're ready to begin row two, which is actually the row that we complete for the rest of the pattern. So this is the row that you need to remember. To begin row two, we work one double crochet into our first single crochet. So if you remember from the last row, we ended with a single crochet in the last stitch. That's the one that we want to work into. So it's this single crochet. So I'm working one double crochet into my first single crochet. And then we skip the next stitches and we work our repeat into the chain three space. So that's this chain three space here. You'll see them throughout the row. That's where we're going to work all of our stitches until we get to the end. We work one single crochet into our chain three space, chain three, and then work three double crochets into that same space. Like so. And then we just continue on. So we skip all of the stitches and just work into our chain three spaces. So again, I'm going to do my repeat of single crochet, chain three, and then three double crochets. So I really enjoy this stitch because it works up really quick, it's easy to remember, and it's just fun. You can, this is like one of those stitches you can work on even while you watch TV or listen to a podcast. There's not much thinking involved. It's so easy, especially once you get the hang of it. You just, you'll, you'll just be flying. Okay, so now I'm at the end of my row and you can see that I still have my turning chain left from the last row. So it's really important that you catch this turning chain and it's, it's, it's obvious here for the first row, but when I show you the next row, you might see how you could get a little bit confused there. So I'm gonna work my last stitch, which is a single crochet into the last double, or into the turning chain space. like so. And then chain three and turn your work and repeat row two all over again. So I'm going to do one more repeat of row two till the end so I can show you what I mean by accidentally missing that last turning chain. So I work one double crochet again into my first single crochet and then I begin my repeat of working into my chain spaces.
So the first time I did this stitch, I was a little bit confused at the end what to do. And I actually missed this last turning chain um, the first time and my blanket kept getting skinnier because I was forgetting that last spot. So don't do that. Don't be like me and <laughs> crochet your last single crochet into your last chain or turning chain space like that. And then your edges will be nice and straight. So you can see like it looks like you may have made a mistake here. And it's just the way that this pattern works. It looks like you've started here, but don't worry, when you go back, your ends will be perfectly straight. Okay, so I'm at the end of a row and I'm ready to begin my next row with a new color. So to add a new color, we finish off our stitch, our, our row with our last single crochet, but instead of finishing our single crochet, we leave our last loop to pull through with the current yarn color. We drop that color and cut it and then grab our new yarn color, which is white in this case, and finish off our single crochet with that new color, like so. So I pulled through the last loop with the new color. So you can see that there's a seamless transition there and the, the colors do not overlap. And that's what we want. And now I can begin my neck, I can begin chaining three and working my next row with my new yarn color. So we'll yarn over, work our first double crochet with our new color, and then continue crocheting just as we had with the old color. So that's what it should look like when you add your new yarn color. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to finish off your blanket. As you can see, the top is bumpy and the bottom is straight. And with a blanket and most things that we make, we want the top and the bottom edges to lay flat. So I'm going to show you how to finish off your uh, blanket with your last row being flat at the top. So you begin as normal by working your first double crochet into that first single crochet and then you single crochet into your next chain three space just like before but this is where, we're, where it's different. So we chain three and then instead of working the, uh, dub the double crochets into that chain three space again we just skip that step. So we single crochet into our next chain three space. So I'm just chaining three and single crocheting into my chain three spaces. And then once you reach the end of the row, there should be two stitches left, your last double crochet and your last, um, and the single crochet, the first single crochet that you made in the last row. So that's, that's the single crochet. It's a little bit difficult to see, but you can see you have your three double crochets and then your chain three, and then that's your single crochet working backwards. So that's where we, we want to work our next double crochet to finish off the row. And then we work one more double crochet in our turning chain. And that's it, we can fasten off and weave in our ends. And that's it for this pattern. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to my channel.